Hey everybody, Keith K here with another Osiris New Dawn tutorial. Today we're going to cover how you can get water, an essential uh, ingredient to staying alive on Proteus 2. Uh, we need to have uh, regular hydration to stay healthy, and we'll look at the two ways that you can do that. You can craft water using chemistry. So as you'll remember from uh, high school, you need two hydrogen and one oxygen to create H2O. And fortunately for us, uh, there are geysers of gas on this moon. So we'll locate a hydrogen and an oxygen geyser, um, and then we will craft some water. The other way is in the habitat, you can actually craft something called a water reclaimer. As you can see, that requires a fair amount of assets. You need aluminum, copper, a circuit board, some glass, rubber, and some wire. The circuit board, the rubber, and the wire can all be created at the fabricator. So we'll just take a quick look at that. Although I'm not gonna craft those in these videos. You can see that you can craft the circuit board with some lithium, plastic, and gold, and wire with rubber, copper, and gold. Um, now, one thing we will need to craft water is a glass jar. First, I'll show you the water, rec water reclaimer here. You just approach it and press activate it. Um, I got plus five thirst uh, because I'm not that thirsty and then there's a little bit of a cool down period. So let's get started. Um, the things that we're gonna need are a couple of barrels, let's say three barrels actually, and some glass containers. I've already got a bunch of glass containers I've been using, but you can see here, you just need two glass and two steel to create a glass container. Um, but I'll go ahead and craft some barrels just so we can bring those with us. So one, two, three barrels. All right, so now we're going to mount up and we'll go find ourselves some of these geysers. Now the first one happens to be an oxygen geyser that's not too far away. Hold tight and we'll be right there. All right, and here we are. Now, I've only found three types of geysers so far. Hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. That's about a meteorite's here. Meteorites are interesting because they do often leave you can see them rolling down the hill. They leave a bunch of uh, resources. We do need to watch out for the giant worm here. Let's get out of the way. Oh, we got some azernium. That's great because you can usually only get that by mining asteroids. So. When these meteorites do fall to the ground, it's if they're nearby, it's worth checking out because you can actually create, uh, sorry, craft another droid once you have enough of that. So sorry for the uh, short delay, but I think that was worth it. We'll get back to these geysers. thing that you'll notice is that it's not telling us anything so we have to go ahead and equip one of our barrels and let's remember H2O so we only need one um, barrel of oxygen so let's go ahead and grab a barrel now once we have a barrel equipped you can see it has zero out of a hundred and then oxygen detected once you have oxygen oxygen detected showing up all you need to do is press the left, left mouse button and wait for the oxygen to fill up all right, and it's that easy. Now, if we look at our inventory, this barrel has a blue glow around it and it has barrel with oxygen. So we're good there. Now we need two hydrogen. And if you remember, 
one of the beacons I have is Hydrogen Work Camp. Um, and if you watched my locator mini tutorial, you'll know how to set these up. Let's go ahead and mount up and we'll head over to my Hydrogen Work Camp. All right, here we are. This is my Hydrogen Work Camp. Uh, you should be able to see exactly why it's called that. There are a number of hydrogen geysers here. And um, we actually also have some carbon. And this skeliopod constantly respawns. So it's a little bit of a noise, but not that big of a deal. All right, so same thing. We're going to approach the hydrogen geysers. We're going to need to have our barrels equipped. So, I went the wrong way. All right, so again, zero of 100. That's one barrel. And two barrels. Pretty straightforward, right? Uh, now I've set this up as a little work camp so I can actually stay here. Uh, you'll see there's some carbon right there and a uh, chemistry station, which I will sit here and actually create a bunch of plastic if I need plastic um, for something I'm trying to craft. I can hang here uh, and just you know, grab some carbon, grab some hydrogen, make some plastic, let it accumulate in inventory, uh, and go from there. But today what we really want to do is craft some water. So you can see we need our glass container, our oxygen, and our hydrogen. And it uses 25 oxygen and 50 hydrogen uh, out of 200 uh, in the case of the hydrogen. So we can actually craft one, two, three, four, and then we've used up the 200 hydrogen and the 100 oxygen. And then you have some water. And then the empty barrels, they show what you last used them for. I'm gonna leave one hydrogen here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna grab some hydrogen and bring it back with me. I'll leave one barrel here for the uh, plastic crafting. And that's pretty much all you need to do to craft water. Um, I definitely think it's worth either finding some that are really close by or setting up a little work camp like this so that you can bring back a bunch at a time, a bunch of you know, crafted water at a time. But that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I think we'll leave it here. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again soon. If you liked the video and you wanna see more, please remember to like and subscribe. Take care.